A warm welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide solely non-medical home care for our clients of the same quality we'd provide that care for a loved one. February 26 is National Letter to an Elder Day. Writing letters may seem like an outdated activity, and in a world filled with technology, the practice of sitting down to write a meaningful letter to someone has fallen by the wayside. Loneliness and isolation among our seniors are still very prominent, with few having recovered from the isolation created by COVID-19. As the years go by, people are having fewer children. With the average household having about five children in the 1950s, that number dropped to an average of two children per household by the end of the baby boomer generation in the 1960s. This means that there's fewer family members to manage the care needs of an aging loved one, and with most family members living a good distance away, on average, there's fewer opportunities for visitors and socialization with family. For seniors that receive care in the home, their care partner may be the only visitor that they see on a regular basis, and that isolation can take a toll on anybody's mental health. That's where the organization Love for Our Elders comes in. Founded in 2013 by Jacob Kramer, Love for Our Elders works to combat loneliness faced by our seniors through writing letters to seniors in the community. Letter to an Elder Day was created in 2020 by Love for Our Elders to promote their mission of writing letters of hope, love, and encouragement to isolated seniors. On the first day of each month, new seniors are posted on Love for Our Elders' website who are excited to receive your letters. Each senior has a bio and address on the website, and there's just a few guidelines to follow if you do decide to write a letter to a senior. You want to make sure that your letter is handwritten, it's legible and in large print, avoid any glitter, avoid any comments of religion or politics, make sure you're being creative with your letter. You can include things like drawings, crossword puzzles, and colorful print, and always make sure that you're being kind in your letter. To date, Love for Our Elders has sent 500,000 letters according to their website. So get the family together, visit loveforourelders.org for a list of seniors ready to receive your letters and start spreading happiness today. If you have a senior that you'd like to nominate to receive letters, you can complete the Google Doc form on the Love for Our Elders website. Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Always Best Care has been providing solely non-medical in-home care since 2009. If you're interested in learning more about our services or our assisted living selection services, please give us a call at 860-533-9343 or you can visit our website at www.abccentralct.com. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram too so that we can show you how better options for senior living are a priority.